You know, they always say a man's name follows him like a shadow. In my case, that shadow was darker than most. I was known as Red H2O, water, and to nourish. And I was flawed, drowning my enemies in a tide of violence. I wasn't always this way. Once, just a kid who thirst for knowledge, who sought inspiration in the words of great strategists, most likely, Sun Tzu, his teachings, the importance of planning, of understanding your enemy, shaped me into the man I became. In his famous book, The Art of War, Sun Tzu said, If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the results of a hundred battles. <laughs> I took that to heart, and every kid, every skin, I was one step ahead, the thrill of the hunt, it was exhilarating, the dance path, I turned my life into that very battleground. But inspiration can be a double-edged sword. As I dissected the enemies, I became the very thing I despised. The lines blurred. There was a rush and fear. I preached strategy and patience. Yet, I was consumed by my own tactics. Each man I took down was a reminder of my struggle. It wasn't just about killing the so-called gods. It was about reclaiming power in a world that felt so powerless. But power comes at a price. The reason I'm dead now? I did what I loved. I had to kill again. But it wasn't just for me. It was for validation. I sought to prove my value in a game that no one else can grasp. Hunting the hunters. The irony in the end, the gods won. The trap, the classic strategy, and I feel right into it. Maybe that makes me naive. Maybe it proves that there's a thin line between brilliance and madness. My history won't die with me. For every drop of blood I spill, there's a story waiting to be told. A legacy. However twisted. Perhaps in death, I can inspire someone else to keep the fight alive. Or at least share the lessons I've learned too late. So remember, when you dance with shadows and wield the blade of strategy, reflect on who you were. Who you become, who you become, who you become. I am not ready for this. I am not ready. This is the fucking bloopers. You know, they always say a man's name falls on like a shadow. In my case, that it, uh, uh, I missed a line. Okay, okay, that was um not what I meant to do. But uh, God, fuck. It's weird. I remember making this fucking script, but I don't even remember half of these things I fucking wrote on here. I wasn't always this way. I once was a kid with a thirst of knowledge. I don't even remember. You know what? I think that might work. I don't know. In a world filled with so called god mode users, I took pride in being the antithesis. <laughs> oh, oh, I definitely missed this one. I fucking missed this one. Jesus. Not always this way. Once, I was just a kid with a thirst for knowledge who sought inspiration in the world 
of great strategy. <laughs> oh, y'all, yeah. that's the wrong word. I meant what I meant words, not world. That's just perfect. God damn it. In his famous book, The Art of War, Sun Tzu said, If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the results of a hundred battles. <laughs> that was a terrible laugh. That was fucking terrible. Ugh. <laughs> Damn it, Hyder. Of course you're going to be fucking texting me as I fucking make my script, you fucking motherfucker. Fucker, god damn it. Each man I took down was a reminder of my struggle. It wasn't just about killing the so called cods. <laughs> cods, yes, yeah, so, the, the so called cods. The fucking fish. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs>